What's up guys, GT Gaming here and welcome back to OCRP and uh, the RP store, I wanted to bring that up. So I did explain what it was and what it was for and what they sell, but the time I did that was the video where my mic wasn't working very well, which kind of sucks, so I edited it out because honestly, who wants to hear me talking when I sound like this? It's just, it's not as good. So, um, I decided what I'm going to do today, that's a fun little project. We're going to go back to the RP store, I'm going to show you everything they have in there, and then we're going to do some, uh, some shenanigans. So, the idea I had was, basically, I'm going to do a scenario involving every item in the RP store. So, like, I don't know what the first item is, I think it's a crack pipe. So we'll do a scenario revolving around that, and then once that's done, we'll move to another uh, video with the next item, which can't remember what it is. But we're going to do a scenario for each item there in a separate video, and uh, I think that'll be awesome, because <laughs> there's some interesting stuff in there. Dead body, anyone? Yeah. If you guys have any ideas for what you'd like to see, I'll show you what's in the RP store now then let me know either in the comments below or in my discord I'm more likely to do it if it's in my discord just because it'll be easier to remember and that's why I refer to when I need some ideas but yeah if you if you have any ideas uh, I can think of some pretty fun stuff you could do with the stuff in there so we'll see um, so yeah the RP store basically that is props think of it like props so um, you buy the thing, they're usually a dollar, so a dead body is a dollar. And it represents what it is, if that makes sense. So you're buying, when you buy, let's use the dead body as an example. That is treated like a dead body. You can buy it for a dollar, it's a prop. But it's treated by the police as real. And uh, they will treat it, because they're treating it like it's real, you'll get the same punishment as if it was real. So I'm feeling the dead body one is a murder charge. <laughs> I don't think Nick Pern has a murder charge, I don't know. But yeah, some of the stuff on here is minor, other stuff is a lot more serious. Let's have a look what is in the RP store as it loads in. Yeah, there's some pretty crazy shit in here. So we've got a crack pipe, a THC oil. THC is basically, it's the thing in weed that makes you high. So that's, I'm pretty sure that's illegal. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that is. Fake ID, pretty self-explanatory. Handcuff key, that one could be interesting. Bump key, which is for, I believe, bump starting cars. Lock pick to open doors, obviously. Key fob duplicator, that is for stealing cars. You can replicate a key fob and use it to unlock someone's car. Card skimmer, to skim credit cards for the information. RF scanner, not quite sure. I think I think RF tags. Ain't they what dogs have? Not sure about that one. Cell phone jammer, obviously you've locked cell phones. Radar detector, pretty sure that tells you if you've been locked on. Like if a cop's locked on to your speed. Still illegal. Counterfeit money, obviously. Unpaid parking tickets. Stolen credit card, self-explanatory. Forged check. <laughs> um, you could use that to pay a fine, I guess. That's basically kind of fitting money, but in check form. Stolen ID, forged passport. Open beer, it's illegal to have that in your vehicle. Spiked drink, that one could be very interesting. Same with a dead body. Do I really need to explain that? Stolen copper pipes, that's a pretty minor charge, but we could still make that fun. Weed, small bag of weed. Why is the small bag less, uh, more expensive, I don't know, cocaine, small bag of cocaine, meth, small bag of meth, opium, small bag of opium, LSD, and bag of LSD. What I'm thinking for them is I may group them together, so LSD and a bag of LSD, or use one or the other, but yeah, either way, I'm interested in seeing, oh, that's a new thing, interested in seeing what you guys would like to see 
That's actually pretty cool, that thing. Basically, my internet lagged out then. It's better than 10 0 in. <laughs> so that's everything in the um, in the store. We're going to go today for the crack pipe. Next is THC oil. So I think this will be a fun little mini-series. We've got our crack pipe. Do we have anything else on us? Um, oh, we've got counterfeit money. Well, that kind of sucks. Thing is, I want to make it, like, for one item only. I don't want to get busted for all of them. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Actually, no, I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to go and drop these somewhere they where they won't be found. Just so it's just the crack pipe we have on us. So if we hop back in our car. I'm going to go and drop these at Simit Alley because no one goes to Simit Alley. And ironically, that's where you're most likely to find a crack pipe in real life. So, Right, yeah, I'm going to go drop these in here. And then I'm going to think of something interesting we can do with a crack pipe. I want to make these interesting more than anything. That's why I'm asking for your guys' suggestions. I don't want anything crazy, just just fun. Right, let's drop these off. I'm thinking by here will work just fine. So, taco and water, that's fine. Money is fine. Counterfeit money, remove. 18, something's going on. That's not what I want to do. I was just thinking, how great would it be the time I say there's nothing happens down here? If a criminal ran in and stole my car or something. Meanwhile, I'm ditching unpaid parking tickets on the side of the road. Yeah, no one's going to find them. I can't even see them. Something was definitely happening in this area, though. I feel like it was probably a pursuit. Right, I'm going to find something interesting to do with this crack pipe now. Okay, that was... Um... What the fuck was that? And more importantly, where the hell did my car go? My car just rolled off into the distance. Are you kidding me? <laughs> God damn it, 5M. What the fuck? Is that my car? Please tell me that's my car. That certainly looks like my car. I don't know what happened then. Sorry. Oh? Well, apparently someone fucked up, I feel. I think I may know what happened. Perhaps someone tried to remove traffic. Like, if the AI gets bad, the police can remove, like, basically get rid of all the traffic nearby. I feel that may have glitched out and taken me with it. <laughs> At first I was like, wait, what's happening? <laughs> I thought I'd 10 0 or something, but nope. Just my car randomly rolled down the street without me. That's not a cop. That's okay. But yeah, I'm trying to think of something interesting to do with this crack pipe. Because I could just be a crackhead, but come on, we want to make it interesting. So I'm thinking change character. Okay, so something else worth noting is 5M, which is the platform these servers run off, has a cap on their server of 32 people. Well, they recently upped that to 64, and they did some trials, had some new software, yada yada. Nothing important. But essentially, nay, we can have 64 people on a server. This one I'm on is still currently limited to 32. However, there is a 64 server in uh, OCRP. It's the second server to be precise. And I'm not using that yet because it's still a bit buggy at the moment. But it is awesome because we basically doubled the capacity of our servers. Or we will be as we upgrade them. And that's pretty awesome so I thought I'd let you guys know about that. And um, I think that could be pretty cool having 64 people. Think about it, that's 32 cops, 32 sieves. I mean, every server pretty much has a limit of 32, and you've seen how hectic they get, so 
this could be pretty nuts. Oh, that's a cop. I wasn't speeding. That's fine. Right, I'm thinking of going and changing into a crackhead character. I, I don't know how to be a crackhead. <laughs> no, that's a weird thing hey, to hey, say. Hey, sorry, sorry. I'm good. So you may have heard uh, someone in the background there. 5M still having that issue with the voice chat being global. We found sort of a fix around it, kind of. Sort of jank. But it works, but, you know, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So if you do hear a random voice in the background, it won't last long. Just just ignore it, do your best. It's just one of those things we can't control. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't know how to be a crackhead. <laughs> it's kind of... That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> how am I going to be a crackhead? Why am I running in a circle? These are all very good questions. Right, I'm going to find some way to change. I'm thinking over the other side of this berm. And let's meet our crackhead. Okay, everyone, meet Charlie Manstain's witch. And I don't like to blow my own trumpet, but Jesus Christ, that's a good name. Think about it. His name's Manstain's. <laughs> Lol. And um, if you count his first initial, it's C Manstain's. C Manstain's. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, I may have been slightly drunk when I thought of that earlier. That's such a good name. Um, so yeah, new character, because I may have killed off my favourite character. <sighs> oh well, let's not dwell on what's happened. Um, this dude is clean arena, so I can go to the gun store. Oh yeah, I can go to the gun store. I like having firearms, I'll be honest. I don't get to do it often because I tend to get arrested when I do. But I do like my guns. So, um, I'm running, yes, running, we still do that, staying healthy, uh, to the gun store to buy a gun. And uh, then we're going to get into our scenario. Again, it's going to resolve, revolve around a crack pipe. I've got a pretty good idea on what I want to do. It's fairly good. As in, as I was getting changed into this character, I thought of it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, O'Shea's Barbershop is now open off route 13 at 10.33. Where is that? Is it that one? Hey, there it is. We could always go by the barber store. Get a haircut, maybe. There is a nice-ass bike here. Which makes me think there's someone inside. Um, how much money do I have? Uh, I can't check, apparently. Okay. I've got 2,800 on me. God, I even walk like a dodgy motherfucker. Fair play. Nope, no one here. That is, suits me just fine. Right, what do I want? Fire extinguisher a dollar. Um, I don't want anything massive. I'm thinking just like a normal... Pistol, maybe? Right, anyway, I'm going to go and find somewhere to set up. This is one of those things where I have an idea and I'm just going to run with it, see where it takes me. So, <laughs> this could turn random pretty damn quick. Uh, I did say I was going to go to the barber shop. I'm going to walk around like I'm the dodgiest motherfucker on earth. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to do that. And... Basically, my plan, I'm going to ask people for change and tell them it's for crack, including cops. <laughs> I'm sure someone will have an issue with it. Uh, as my dad always said, start off symbol. Which is probably why I turned out symbol, but you know. Alright, let's go. Really slowly. Down the street. I kind of want to ask this cop for change. Oh, he's pulling over. Yeah, let's ask this dude for some change. <laughs> hey, hey, bro. Yo, bro. Oh, 
No, How's I don't. Oh, hey man, can you uh, can you spare any? Can you spare a dollar? It's for crack. Uh, no, I can't, buddy. Hey, what's your name? Hey, don't worry about that, man. Can you can you spare a dollar? <laughs> this is gonna be over pretty quick. Uh, no. What's your name, bud? Uh, uh that that don't matter, man. You can call me Charlie. So. Uh, what are you, uh, where are you heading to? I'm I'm going down there to the barber shop. I, I need some money, man. It's for crack, and th and then I might buy a haircut. <laughs> I'm not the the crack pipe's going to be empty. Do me a quick favor. Uh, can I turn around for me for a sec? Oh, nah, man. I, I got places to be. You get me, fam. Have a good one, yeah? Well, well no, I need to talk to you there, bud. Nah, we spoke, talk. man. You you ain't got any spare change. It's, it's fine, bro. I got places to be. You get me. <laughs> hey, come here. Hey, man, stop bugging me or I'll call the... Uh-oh. I'll call the big police. Hey, put that shit away, man. Put that shit away. Nah, man, you ain't putting that shit at me. Got one taser point. Hey, hey, homie. You stop putting that shit at me, yeah? Turn around or you can get tased. But, bruh, I ain't done shit wrong, yeah? You get me. This escalated. Turn around. Hey, man, your homie, he's in the bush, yeah? Ah, you fuck. Taser deployed. What the fuck, man? Stay down. Get on your knees! Nah, man. Get on your knees or you get hit again. Can I ask what I did, man? That, that fucking hurt. Ah, fucking stop! Ah, fucking... Press away. Right now. <laughs> I got him. Cover me. I am dang. <laughs> How you cover me? The fuck, dude? <laughs> that escalated quick. And do you know it occurred to me? I forgot to put a firearms license. I did mean to do that, I just forgot, so it's not that much of a fail. It was a simple pistol. Right. There it goes. This time you're gonna be right now I'm arresting you on suspicion of buying a purchase to sell narcotics, crash purchase narcotics. Eh, hey, I didn't buy shit, man. You ain't got shit. I didn't buy anything, mother man. Anyway, I gotta go for the to the hairdresser. You're not going anywhere, bud. Uh, Charlie, man stains. So, uh, like, man, um, am I free to go, man? Hey, bro, right you spare any change? It's, it's hey, for what crack. Was the name of that Bolo guy. Bolo, what's that? It's Charlie Manstein. It's man staying, uh, motherfucker. Or the, uh, or the <laughs> Alright, why are you trying to buy crack? Why are you coming up to police and asking for money for crack? I ain't trying to buy crack. I'm asking for money, man. It's for a haircut. I told you that. You said you could have some money for his crack. Is it illegal to say something? Well, I want to get to the bottom of that. What do you mean by that? I mean, like, there's this thing called money, yeah? Rich people have it. Can I have some? <laughs> yeah. Hey, nice, man. Can you, like, let me go so I can go get some, some money, man? You ain't got shit. That was a lot quicker than I thought. <laughs> It would be 757, wouldn't it? Motherfucker. Can you watch him? I'm gonna go run his information. I wanna see what's going on here. Hey, hey, hey. Um, can I have some money? And I'll tell you a secret. Just shut your mouth. I feel right there. So, so you don't wanna know what I got? I said shut your mouth. 
Okay. I was gonna tell him I got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record, I tried to tell you. It's something you wanted to know. <laughs> Come on, take the bait, dude. <laughs> Hey, hey, tow truck, dude. You spare any change? Oh. Hey, man. I tried to tell this dude something, but he won't listen, man. Do you want no secret? He's gonna figure it out. Just shut your mouth, right? And don't move, or you're gonna get tased again. Hey, hey, nice, man. So just comply. I'm trying to tell you something. Joe Tyler, would you? A who? What? Joe Tyler? Nah, shit, man. What, are you looking for him? Is he going to spare change? Okay, and for the record, I tried to tell this dude something, but he wouldn't listen. Alright, what are you trying to tell him? <laughs> that I got my gun on me. I was told I was supposed to tell people that. Where's your gun? In my waist. Am I free to go? It sounds like I'm constipated. Figure that out here. It ain't illegal to ask a question. Find the weapon. Before I find, take the weapons. Right? Anything else I should know about on your person? Nothing illegal, man. Drugs. Genuinely, it's not illegal to own a crack pipe. It's illegal to use a crack pipe for crack, but not illegal to own one. I hope that's right. Usually I'm right. Sometimes. Once in a blue moon. Crack pipe. Unused. What's this, uh, what's this pipe here? Shit, man, it, it ain't illegal to have that. Or the gun. It, it's, it's paraphernalia. Nah, it's, it's paraphernalia. clean, man. I just bought it. It's not illegal to have them. Only to use them. It's not even used, man. You'll see. It's not burned or anything. Right, I'm gonna put you back in my cruiser, okay? But why, man? I ain't, didn't, I ain't done shit, man. Just trying to go about my day. Make an honest dollar. I don't sound convincing. <laughs> I'm right though, it's not illegal. Do you know, I'm gonna Google that. <laughs> Is it illegal to own a crack pipe? I'm actually Googling it. Uh, US, just to be safe. Um, drug paraphernalia, what does that include though? That's just drugs, right? Yeah, so no, actually, buddy, it, it is a, it is a oh. crime. It, it's a misdemeanor, plus one, to have drug paraphernalia I on you, right? Up. But it ain't paraphernalia, man. It's a collectible. I bought it from a collectible shop, like you know, one of those um, like antique shops. This looks a lot like a crack pipe to me, bud. Yeah, but look, it's decorated and it's got like Indian shit all over it, man. It cost me twenty-five bucks. They ain't cheap, bro. It ain't been used. <laughs> uh, Alright. I was distinctly told it ain't illegal to have that, man. My, my voice is genuinely dying. That voice is painful. <clears throat> I'll be back on side. Okay, man. Okay, so... How do I phrase this? I didn't bother checking the law. <laughs> in the UK, it's not illegal to own things such as bongs and... If you don't know what that is, ask your parents, but it's not illegal to own things like that. In the US, that is classed as paraphernalia. But, if it's decorative, I might be able to get away with that. It's only a misdemeanor, like it's a minor offence, but... I'm still gonna try my luck. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm hoping he does release me so I can go try it on other cops. I reckon that'll be fun. Here they come. Let's see what they gotta say. I'm gonna try the whole it's a collectible thing. Hopefully that works. Please say something. I don't like initiating contact. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Charlie, here's what we're gonna be doing. I'm yeah. Gonna be, I'm not gonna be taking you to jail today for the drug paraphernalia. Okay? The oh, reason I initially okay. stopped you, someone looking pretty much a lot or a lot like you, uh, was going around selling drugs and all that, okay? So, I didn't hear the full description, I'll admit to that. I made a bit of a mistake on my part. I wish you were a bit cooperative, though. Like, you know, I'm in a bit of a predicament here, though, you understand? Nah, I'm a busy man, man. I mean, I didn't I really. Understand. I just want to get to the hair, bar, the barber dresser haircut place. I understand. So I, I apologize. I apologize for mistaking you for someone else. First off, okay. Okay. Secondly, here's what we're gonna be doing. I'm not gonna be taking you to jail today. What That's I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be confiscating the pipe and I'm gonna be giving you a citation for drug for, for possession of drug par paraphernalia. All right. Oh, I'm gonna be man. cutting you a huge break here, okay? I'm okay. A huge break here, dude. Can I have my gun back? Yeah, once, once I get all the paperwork done, I'll give you your gun back, okay? Okay, man. Hold on, gunpoint, take the crack pack bite. Crap. God, that wasn't English. <laughs> Hold him up at gunpoint and take the crack pipe back. That's a hard one. <laughs> what I'm thinking, he is a sheriff, quite blatantly. I swear they've changed these libraries. I know, I could be wrong. Oh well, I'd have to compare a picture to see. I don't really m memorize things like that. But yeah, I'm thinking if he's a sheriff, my best bet would be to try down in the city and hope they're on a different radio system. Maybe. I need to get a car as well. That would be useful. And I want another crack pipe. Because that wasn't very quick. Prints off citation, there it is. These new in car printers are really annoying. <laughs> I guess it saves me the walk to jail. Try, try, hop on. Face the car. I was gonna say my wrists are starting to hurt here. Oh, that's that's much better, man. All right. All right. I'm gonna face him now. All right. It's a hundred dollar citation. Okay. Or uh, possession of uh, paraphernalia. All right, you'll have 30 days to pay if you don't wish to pay at this time. Your court date is there on the bottom. There, I need your signature on the bottom. Oh, okay, uh, man. Just saying, you will show up to court. Got a pen here for you. I wonder how mad you'll get if I steal his pen. Here you go, man. Got any spare change? Have my pen back? What pen? <laughs> uh, the pen I gave you. Uh, you know what? No, no, never mind. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't have any spare change right now. Alright, good. Nah, good cheers, man. I'm cutting you a huge break today, okay? Okay, man. Uh, so I don't have any spare trains. Uh, again, I apologize. We have someone looking a lot like you going around. Yep, yep. Come on, I want to go to the hairdresser. So we have to make sure it's not because you know they could have easily just changed the pants and all. So just want to make sure, okay? Yeah, man, that's fine. I, I ain't a bad person. Okay, you're free to go. Appreciate the uh, cooperation. Uh, have a good one, man. <laughs> I stole his pen. <laughs> right, hairdresser. I really want to go to this hairdresser. Also, really want to give my voice a break, but don't have time for that. But genuinely, the side of my throat is really hurting right now. Ah oh, well, is that a cop down there? I think it might be. Let's not try our luck though. I like turtles. Whatever. <laughs> that conversation then. I like turtles. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, that made me chuckle. Oh. Um. As you do. Right, you grab a seat, sir. 
Uh, hey man, you, you got any spare change? I mean, I got a customer if you give me a moment. Just grab a seat over there and I'll be with you in a moment. Okay, man. <laughs> I met you on the couch. <laughs> Oh, I felt really bad then. Right, <laughs> he was an odd fellow. He was an odd fellow, motherfucker. Right, how the hell? Like, genuinely, how am I gonna get down to the city? It's a hard life being a busker. <laughs> I've got no phone to tweet. I've got no friends. But. <laughs> why do I always come up with stupid ideas? The easiest way to get somewhere. Is in a straight line. And what goes in a straight line? Highways! Yeah, this is gonna end with me dying, probably. God, that's loud. There's not even a train there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm... I'm thinking let's go for a walk down the highway. Because, why not? So, you may have also noticed a few minor changes. Obviously, there's been an update to the server, as well as the 64 slot thing mainly concerning the interface, so in the top right corner now it only says your employment status. Honestly, I'd rather just get rid of that. What if I can turn that off, but uh, that gets rid of the mini-map as well. Oh well. And in the bottom left corner you can see that it tells you where the nearest postal is. So I'm not far off 039 now, about 45 meters, and there's 039. So that's pretty cool as well. That's to narrow it down if you're on the phone to 911 or something. But yeah, minor improvements, but overall they seem to be working. And of course there's the um, thing you unfortunately had to see at the beginning, because my internet is really bad. Where um, if you disconnect from server, it pops up with a message that says disconnected, reconnected now. And honestly, most people wouldn't like that feature that much, I don't think, but I really do. Because as someone with really bad internet, I, I know, I'm upgrading as soon as I can, um, it is a lifesaver, because the amount of times I've nearly 10 would or I have 10 would over like a minor thing, now it'll just reconnect if it can. I think it gives it like 10 seconds or something. That is something I really do like. Alright, fuck it, I'm not even going to look before I cross the road, because I ran away from home when I was 16, so my parents didn't tell me shit. You know, make up a backstory on the fly. Um, we're going to run down 13 and we're going to ask anyone we see on the side of the road for a spare change as we go along. Whether that's a cop, whether that's a broken down car, or hopefully, and this will be great, a traffic stop. We'll just walk through a traffic stop. Hey man, you got any change, man? My gun was jiggling about in my uh, holster, so I took it out. Now I'm a guy running down the side of the highway with a gun out. You know, that's a perfectly normal occurrence in Sandy Shores, obviously. Um, I'm almost certain someone's going to pick me up somewhere along the way, and me having a gun out that could end badly. I've already been tasered twice. <laughs> oh, let's see how this pans out. Something tells me not very well. Of course, now we're getting into areas which cops like to frequent, which could cause us some problems. But, you know, I'm just trying to get to the city. Maybe one of these cops will give me a ride or some money for crack. Either one. Uh, I need to cross here. That's fine. Let's just run over to here. I am technically running down an active lane now. That's not good. And I almost shot my gun then. Playing with my mouse buttons, as you do. Okay, that's an issue. I just totally fired my gun. Okay, let's put that back in the holster. And... I mean, they can't prove it was me. I just hope no one heard that. That was bad. Uh, once I get back down the highway a bit away from the scene, I might get my gun back out, but... You know, I think that making you nervous and keeping it in your holster is pretty good reason. Ah, uh, that scared me a little bit. Not gonna lie. 
think we got away with it. I didn't hear any sirens. I think I saw lights up there. I did. That's a traffic stop. <laughs> I'm going to run past the traffic stop on the highway with my gun out. And you know, I'm going to use a bit of common sense and run behind the barrier. I don't want to die. They'll probably actually, the stop could well be over by the time we get there. We don't run particularly fast. There's quite a few units there. Okay, that's slightly more than a traffic stop then. <laughs> oh, I wonder if any of them will notice me with my gun out. I mean, is this actually illegal? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a... Yeah, that's a lot of units and that's a wrecked skyline as well and that cop's looking directly at me just going for a jog down to the city tow trucks on scene oh yeah they it went badly for them <laughs> just run past here I mean I'm not being a threat or anything with my gun Okay. He wants to have a word with me. <laughs> no, apparently not. Uh, can I help you? What? Turn around. Eh, uh, what? What I do, man? Around. Oh, geez, Turn around. Turn around. Put your hands up. I'm turning around, man. Put Lost your hands accent. up. I mean, did I do something? Put your hands up. My hands are by my side, man. No. This is bullshit, man. Did, did, like, did I do something or what? Why are you running away from cops that were right behind you? I'm you not. I'm running to the city. I got you covered. How do you not see flashing blue lights behind you? Are you I'm, blind? No, I'm looking the other way. I don't have wing mirrors on my oh, head. Oh, yeah, because that's just... That dude went past me, man. Jesus. Jesus ain't here. It's Charlie. Hey man, you got anything on you that I need to know about? Any guns, knives, needles, grenades, anything like that? Yeah, I got my gun. Obviously. <laughs> okay. Bit of a dumb question. Can I help you? I'm just trying to get to the city. Can you, can you spare any change? Alright, well, I'm going to take this pistol away from you until, until we figure out what's going on, alright? Yeah, that's mine though. I want it back. All right, Trooper, I'm going to let you do your thing. This is your, your area here. Um, I'm still kind of mind blown about this whole situation, so... What happened, man? Uh, is there a suspect that was in the, uh, was in the red wagon? Am I what? Can you... Uh, you need to, uh, your voice is a little, little low there. Is he the fleeing suspect? Well, I don't uh, know. I'm what does the fleeing sure. suspect look like? Um, uh, well, you, I, I have no idea. Fleeing from what? No, in, in, in so, um. Nah, I've been in Sandy, man. I'm pretty sure I spoke, spoke right, to you earlier. Okay, okay, okay. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, all right? I'm listening. Now, I want you to be honest with me, completely honest with me, right? So you driving that vehicle right there and we're cops chasing you a few minutes ago. I can't even drive, dude. <laughs> like, seriously. I've been running okay, all the way so from, like, Grape seed. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, so tell me, <laughs> while you're running on the highway, sir, do you know, like, that's, that's jaywalking? Because you know you're on the highway. I can't drive and I need to get to the city. And well, that, that cop wouldn't give me. You when you can't drive and you're trying to get from one place to another. You call a taxi or call Uber. But that cop you wouldn't give me money, man. I ain't highway. got a job. Okay, what's your name? Charlie. First and last name. It's, it's Charlie Manstains. Alright, Charlie, do you, do you have a warrant on you? Do, do you I have what? A warrant? 
No, I've never been in trouble before, you man. You never want. No. Why does he think I have a warrant? Alright, Charlie. Just give me a few minutes, I'm gonna run your name on my database and see what comes back here, alright? I mean, I'm pretty clean, man. I ain't had right, no red cool. car. So I've I'm just been running. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's genuinely true. Running with a gun out, but still running. So what happened over there, man? That, that skyline looked pretty right, wrecked. So just to let you know what's going on, sir, you are being detained at this time for, uh, we're investigating a, uh, um, a pursuit at this time, okay? Well... I understand that you're walking down the road, you just so happen to be at the wrong place in the wrong time type of thing, so... Uh, to be fair, We're, we're gonna ran. work things out, and then... Why is Alex in jail? Okay. You, you ran from us just now, is that what you're saying? No, I ran all the way from, um... I was on Alhambra speaking to that cop. I ran okay. f along Joshua and then down the highway from, um, Grapeseed up there. I'm pretty sure I'm on camera okay, exit no Utah, so... I think I got an alibi. Okay. Yep. My voice is dying, no you problem. can tell. So, just do me a favor, have a seat in the back of the car there. Or wherever this trooper wants you to go. Alright. Just go ahead and uh, have a seat um, back in my cruiser right here. Uh, you're not under arrest or anything, you're just being detained. Uh, your weapon is clean, and I don't think you're the suspect in the red vehicle, so just, just step in. Okay, someone might need to sit in the front. Hey man, like, what's your name? Charlie. You sure it wasn't Charlie? that dude up there? He seems pretty criminal. <laughs> uh, which guy are you talking about? Dude on the bike that just pulled up. Step in. Step in my vehicle. Ah, oh, he's Paparazzo. Paparazzo! Yeah, um, I actually backed um, one of the deputies back in the county. Who, uh, for him, we thought he was um, our, our, our Tyler Joe, but he's not. So, I'm just gonna take him back to the county, let him go on his way, because he can't be on the highway or run on the highway or anything like that. Alright, hey, uh, you should try and find that big boy voice that you have, and you should use it, because I can't really hear you. Oh yeah, I understand. I, I don't even know what's happening, bro. Like, for real. I, I really, like, I agree. when you guys are chasing suspect, I was in the perfect position right there. Right by 13 right there. See that? Okay. So, I, I came out of my vehicle. I said spike strip. It's perfect, right? And I was okay. over on the radio yelling. Great Use story. Use the side of the road. Use the side of the road. Spike strip, lane one, lane two. And then you guys went over the spike strip, and guess what? My voice post wasn't even working. Yeah. Uh, I, I, was, I, I was done. I was, <laughs> yo, I yeah, well, felt I, mean, I was done. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I had to get fired right there. You succeeded in ending the pursuit. We'll, we'll just put yeah, it at that. Dude, no, did he spike all those cops? It was, it was a lot more, and I, I couldn't even watch that <laughs> anymore. I, okay. Yeah, I, I got you. Nope. I got you. Um, That's amazing. I've really seen that happen. It's there. so That's funny. It. Cop did that before, they didn't say anything, they just threw what's man in about 15 nope. cops hit it. Alright man. I'm pretty uh, sure Jeff caught it on a live stream once, it was funny as hell. Hopefully he'll drop me off at the county. Yeah, I'm gonna just try to put him out of here, getting back to the county. So can no, not back to the county, I wanna go to the city and have some cops right uh, Hold on, we're gonna bike. do something here really quick. Do you want me to, search, do you wanna go, with, you wanna go with me? Uh, no, I got, I got a 10 12 with Honestly, I was thinking it'd be more of a response than that. Three units, one with a taser, two with guns. Like seriously, I was running down the highway with a gun. For All right, an so you said pricing. that you're coming over from Panorama, correct? Uh, were you at a store or anything like recently that you have a receipt or you know we can call the owner? I was talking to a cop, man. He gave me a citation. I mean, you can read it. Okay. Do you, Do you know what cop it was by chance? I mean, hold on. Um, just uh, fake to me right now. Uh, I know, like, the trooper took your, uh, your pistol, correct? So I'm gonna yeah. give it back to you, and you should be free to go. Uh, but the problem is, you, you can't be walking on the highway, so you have to call yourself a Uber from the side of my vehicle right there, or taxi, and then you can be in your way, alright? Uh, but man, I don't, don't have a phone. Don't you ever run from the county, on a highway, and you ever. Tell. Just call the taxi, and, and, uh, I'll pay for it. Call the taxi, alright? Um, okay, that's a good deal. Let me just find... So, I'm gonna hand you your weapon. Just make sure you don't load it. Um, keep the keep the uh, the magazine off it till you're out of here. Okay. Uh, okay, man. What if I I really don't like taxis? What if I walk like over the grass or something like up over the, the like countryside? No, sir, you can't. 
No, sir, you can't. Um, another option you have is you can get in the back of my vehicle and I could um, transport your ass to wherever you want to go. But you're not, you're no longer going to walk on the highway or walk on, up, up the mountain or do, or do any of that, all right? Uh, could you, could you like, drop it's, me down to the next for, exit? Yo, it's just for your safety, man. All yeah, right? like, could you drop it's me down there at the next, yeah, like, I can drop you up, yeah. Oh, well, that'd be awesome, sure man. I can. So, I I'm going to hand you your pistol right now. Just make sure you don't load it, okay? Yeah, I will, man. I right, step into Slash me. Holster. God, he couldn't wait to get out of there, could he? Yeah, if you could drop me off, like, at the next exit or something, man. <laughs> he offered to pay for the taxi for me. That's really kind. Okay. Damn, that dude was an ass. <laughs> Oh wow. The amount of money the um, state troopers and cops and all in here must spend on vehicle repairs. Jesus. Millions. I've only got one bullet, so it's okay. I know a little secret on how to uh, refill that. <laughs> it's probably better I only have one bullet, to be fair. Right, so, for my next trek, I'm going to find another cop and uh, ask him for money for crack. And then we got to move on to THC oil. Honestly, I might just use the same character, but different ta uh, technique. I mean, you get to get off right here. Just make sure you don't walk on the highway or run the highway anymore, right? Yeah, I will, man. You're a hero. Thank you. No problem. I have, have a good day. You too, man. <laughs> Right, LSPD. Where am I going to find an LSPD officer? Um, okay, what I might do is walk to the RP store, and if I see a cop, then I'll approach him. If not, then... You cracked your head open. <laughs> Half tempted to run straight down there back on the highway, but that would be... After that cop was so safe to me, that's the problem, I'm too nice, I don't like being annoying to cop, well I do actually, but I, I like to reciprocate favours, so he was nice to me, so I'll be nice in return, I promise I wouldn't run on the highway, I, run on, I won't run on the highway, I will jaywalk though, that's fine, that was close. Do you know it's weird, none of the cops use this station here, even though like, it's probably the main station. It's just because it doesn't have an interior. Oh, I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with... C? P? Pig? No, let's not. I don't know what they're doing, but I want a piece of that. Keep hearing people behind me. Bless you, that woman just sneezed. Um, okay, so there's a crosswalk to nothing. Okay, I'm just going to cross. And be annoying to these guys. Walking like a gangster. I'm going to use the same technique. Hey man, go and use spare change for, for crack. I'm <laughs> just walking through a scene. Hey, hey man. You got any spare change? It's for crack. No, I don't, sir. Please keep moving on. We got an active crime scene right now. Okay, keep moving what about on you, way. man? You got any spare change? No, get out of dude. Oh, man. It's only for crack, man. <laughs> you guys serious? That guy's serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I need some crack. Look at Jeff staring at me. <laughs> To be fair though, it's not illegal to ask for cr for money for crack. I mean, it's not good, but it's not illegal. Okay guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Um, we didn't get any money for crack, and if anything we actually net lost because we lost our crack pipe. <laughs> but, I mean, we didn't get any charges, and we, on we only got one ticket, so that's a bonus. Um, yeah, I'm a bit upset I lost my crack pipe, but honestly, I had a feeling that would happen. I didn't think it would happen so quick, though. Not the first guy. 
Either way, though, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode. And don't forget, you can join my Discord. There's a link in the description. And send me ideas on what you want me to do uh, regarding stuff in the RP store. There's a lot of great stuff in there. And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.